Hey guys, Jason back with you from the OHA. Got a special update for you here. Been working away on the Goblin Town board and as you can see, making substantial progress. I'm going to have a bunch of still photographs of the progress as to this point. At the end of the video, I just wanted to talk through sort of my thought process, the layout of the board, and uh, what kind of uh, intricate gameplay we're going to be able to have achieved with this multi-tiered, multi-level board. Uh, I'm going to jump you off the tripod real quick just to give you a model's eye view of uh, the current walkway system as it stands. So we come down here, you've got two tiers here. Uh, there is going to be a ladder from here to here, as well as ropes from the top. And if we come around here, this side, this gives you a nice perspective of what the players will be uh, achieving. This table is also going to sit on risers uh, at hot lead, so it's going to be higher than a standard table. Uh, it's going to be a lot more comfortable to play at, uh, and it's going to give you a much better view of the uh, table from the model's perspective. So there's going to be walkways uh, here and here leading up to this. The throne is going to sit against this rock. Uh, I am going to have to build the throne out as, for whatever reason, it's jettied out on an angle. Um, another walkway here that is going to lead to another platform here that's going to be accessible from these two points. Um, I was contemplating having an elevated walkway over to that. Uh, I'm not sure just yet. Um, the walkway under here will continue all the way around to a platform here that will then cross from there over to this particular rock outcropping. Again, another larger platform, a couple walkways, and then uh, there's a cave back here that will be brought into play. Uh, I'm going to make some sort of intricate, as far as goblins are concerned, entranceway. There'll be a walkway across to here. Another large platform playing area. This one I've contemplated building out so that it overhangs the rock, so you have a large playing area. Uh, with access from both this side here as well as this side. So it should give the players lots of options as far as uh, access goes. I'm going to put you back up on the tripod to finish up the conversation. Don't want to be uh, shaking the heck out of you. Again, I will have a bunch of different stills of the work in progress posted up at the end of the video. But uh, it's been a great project, a lot of fun, very simple, uh, easy to do. Um, the coloration, I mean, you can get a lot more uh, intricate, if you like, with the airbrush. Um, you know, uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been fun. It hasn't been an over overly burdensome project. There are going to be some detail pieces added once the initial layout is finalized. Uh, I have a large number of old broken skeletons uh, and some destroyed zombies that I'm actually going to place around as uh, um, similar to the GW base with the skeletons and stuff molded right into it. I want to add just those little pieces of detail, some skeletons scattered, scattered throughout, bones, whatnot, garbage, filth, just everything that goes along with goblins, really. Um, and then, of course, uh, you're going to have the ladders as well as the ropes. And uh, I'm contemplating doing some rope-style bridges um, to use with the handrails. The only reason I'm leaning towards not doing that now, that was the initial plan, was to have... Uh, Along these walkways, there was going to be ropes. Um, scale is tough. Came up with a solution to that. Uh, now, as I get miniatures on the board and I look at particularly that bottom one, you're only going to get two miniatures across. I feel like it's really going to congest it and make it difficult to play for the players at Hot Lead if they've got to be worried about possibly breaking those little strings or wires or whatever it is we ended up using. So I think for playability, we're going to leave that out. Uh, I don't think it's really going to affect the board overall. I think there's going to be enough uh, eye-catching things going on at different locations that uh, the board's going to pop on its own without having to get that intricate. We will still have the uh, the ropes coming down that the goblins can swing from, etc. Um, I've got to add the scribe in there. Obviously, the throne, the cave is going to be another focal point. Um, you know, so there's going to be a large a different variety of things for people to look at and enjoy as this is not only a demo table but it is also uh, sort of a way for us to showcase the hobby to people 
who uh, don't necessarily know uh, Hobbit SBG, Lord of the Rings SBG, or uh, have forgotten about it and, and need to be told that it's back and things are greater than ever, new releases, new models, exciting times. So um, very excited about the direction, very excited about the direction of the OHA in general. Uh, I had contact with both the GBHL as well as uh, OSBGL, uh, which is our Ontario, I guess, affiliate, if you want to call it that. Um, they are uh, good guys geared towards uh, competitive play, so if that's your thing, go and have a look. Uh, this is sort of where the OHA, our heart lies here, is demos, um, getting people into the hobby, getting guys up and going. Uh, if they want to move on to competitive play, that is absolutely fantastic, but uh, for us, our focus is getting new players into the hobby and making an excitement and building that excitement back up for Lord of the Rings and the uh, wonderful world that Tolkien put together for us. So uh, stay tuned. Going to have more on the OHA demo table here. My counterpart, George, is working on an absolute masterpiece. You guys are going to be blown away when you see it. Uh, it is also another work in progress. We've got a series of uh, stills taken showing the progress. We're going to save that one, have it strictly shown off at Hot Lead. Um, it's going to be very, very impressive. So definitely swing on by, see us at Hot Lead, come check us out. Uh, we'll be at the OHA booth, and uh, again, we'll have lots of swag. We'll have uh, all kinds of goodies terrain-wise for Lord of the Rings. Um, other systems as well, but that's our focus is uh, is uh, the Hobbit SBG world. So, um, just one more quick note. I did, if you can notice, I blacked out the voids and actually faded it. I know it's hard to see, but it actually does go from a lighter gray uh, or a dark gray into a black, just to add that level of depth, and then just hit it with a clear matte varnish, uh, just to take the sheen out of the black. So, lots of uh, Lots of interesting stuff going on. Guys, if there's any questions or comments, please leave them below. Anything you want to see on the channel, any recommendations, please let us know. You can send us uh, an email at info, um, ohasbginfo at gmail.com, I believe is what it is. Otherwise, just send us a message on, uh, on YouTube here. We're also on Instagram as well as Facebook. Check us out. Give us a like. Spread the word. Get... Uh, get the hobbit hobby buzzing again we're excited and i want you to be too so hope you guys enjoyed it we'll catch up with you soon and looking forward to seeing you at hot lead take care guys